Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to jump back into the basics of electronics and talk a little bit about RC circuits. What are RC circuits? They are a circuit that contains a resistor and a capacitor. Sometimes I can't spell, but whatever. Now, there are many different types of circuits that use resistors and capacitors, but we're gonna talk about two of the very simple ones today. And these circuits are used to reshape an input wave or pulse. And those two circuits that we are going to talk about are the integrator and the differentiator. And they're pretty simple. The product of the R and C, the resistor and the capacitor in these circuits, is called the RC time constant. And for the circuits I'm going to show you, the RC time constant in seconds is at least 10 times the interval between the incoming pulses or cycles. And you'll often see references to the RC time constant in a circuit. And what the RC time constant is, it is the time in seconds it takes the capacitor to charge or discharge 63.3%. I know that doesn't make a lot of sense now, but as you move on through electronics, it, it, it will come into play. But so let's talk about the first circuit today we're gonna do, and that is the integrator. And it's, what we're going to show you here is incredibly simple. Here's our resistor. Here's our capacitor going to ground. There's our output. And there's our input. So what we're going to do is we are going to feed in a signal, in this case, a square wave signal, into this circuit. And the values that we're going to use are 22K and 100 nanofarad. And what we're going to get out is, I can't draw very well, but the standard sawtooth waveform. All right, so here I have mocked up. Ignore that, that's the second part. Here I have mocked up our little circuit here. So we have our input is going to come in here, go through the, capa the resistor. The capacitor will then draw off some of the current pulling it to ground and we'll take our output right here. So let's take a look now at the scope. All right, here's the scope and right above it is the function generator, which is outputting a 200 Hertz square wave. And I will attach that to the scope and you can see it right here. There is our square wave output is 200 Hertz and at two volts peak to peak or two volts per division you can see two four and a half so we're getting about nine volts out of that all right now I'm going to unhook uh, the, the uh, function generator from the scope and I'm going to attach it 
to our integrator circuit that we've created here. And we should see the sawtooth pattern. If I can get all the little clippy clips to play nice with each other, which they don't want to seem to do. All right, and, and there you see we have our 200 hertz sawtooth wave with a slight bit of attenuation. We're now only seeing about 8 volts peak to peak. All right, let me disconnect this. And we will switch over to our next circuit we're going to talk about, which is the differentiator. Okay, so our differentiator circuit looks remarkably like our integrator, except it's reversed. So we have our square wave coming in over here, and now our output looks more like this. And what we're getting is a waveform with a sharp peak and then the discharge of the capacitor, sharp peak, charge of the capacitor, and it continues on and on like that. So I have that connected right here. And as you can see, we have our signal going into the capacitor with the resistor going to the drain. And if we come up here, and there you can see that waveform that I was telling you about. So what does all this mean? Well, with an integrator, the waveforms don't often reach their full height or amplitude. So there it's easy to use an integrator to design an amplifier that will ignore waves less than a desired uh, amplitude. So it can function as a filter that passes only signals below a certain frequency. And the differentiator, differentiator on the other hand is an excellent circuit used in pulse generators for digital logic circuits. Even though it's not a perfect square wave, this is a waveform that you're going to see a lot of if you get into digital circuits because of its sharp peaks. It's an excellent triggering pulse. So we can sum everything up by saying that an RC circuit is a circuit that contains a resistor and a capacitor and the RC time constant is the time in seconds it takes for the capacitor to change either charging or discharging 63.3% of its value. I hope you guys enjoyed this little introduction to RC circuits. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Comment, share, don't forget to subscribe, and check out the Patreon page. Links are down below. That's it. I'm out. Peace.